Hey folks, uh, here's our lesson performance task uh, that we're doing in, in our Integrated Math 2 class uh, following uh, Module 17.1. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. We have uh, uh, shown here is a triangular striped sail together with some of its dimensions. Okay, so in the diagram, this segment right here is parallel to this segment, is parallel to this segment, is parallel to this segment right here. Okay, so find each of the following. Okay, here we go. So let's find AJ. So what we have to do is we're going to just deal with this top piece right there. Okay, so let's do that right there. Okay, so from the last... Uh, um, uh, from the last uh, lesson, you guys, sorry, brain, brain freeze right there. These parallel lines means that uh, these angles are congruent, these angles are congruent. So, so um, uh, this top over bottom equals top over bottom. Do you remember doing that in the last lesson right there? So we're going to go ahead and cross multiply, and we're going to, um, uh, and we get, uh, uh, we get uh, AJ is equal to 2 feet right there, because 2.25 is half of 4.5 right there, okay? All right, so easy enough. So let's go ahead and plug in our 2 right there, and then let's find uh, the next piece right here, so CD. So now we're going to deal with these two triangles right here, okay? So let's see if I can convince you where 4.75 came from. Can you see 2.5 plus 2.25 is that? Can you see 2 plus 1.8 is 3.8? And then, uh, okay, so this is what we're looking for. So we're going to do it again, top over bottom, top over bottom, and we cross multiply there. And um, uh, we get uh, 3.8x equals 5.7. So when you divide by 3.8, uh, you get 1.5. Okay, let's plug in 1.5 right there. Okay, now let's look for uh, HG. So we're going to do this again with this triangle right here, this pair of triangles. Okay, so we're going to add these three lengths and we're going to add these three lengths and that's going to give us uh, those right there. Okay, so when we add 2 plus 1.8 plus uh, 1.2, we get 5. We're looking for this length right here is X. Okay, here's 6.25 from this plus this plus this, and then here's the 3.5. So now we can do top over bottom, top over bottom. Okay, and then cross multiply, and we get um, uh, 2.8. So we're going to go ahead and plug in 2.8 right there. All right, now it says find GF. Okay, so now we're not going to do uh, what we've been doing. We're going to use uh, this right triangle right here and use the Pythagorean theorem right there, okay? All right, so when we do that, remember this is our hypotenuse, so this squared plus this squared equals this squared right there. Okay, so when we square those up, and then uh, the square root of 625 is, is 25, so the square root of 6.25 is uh, 2.5, okay? So that uh, length is 2.5. Okay, so now we're going to use that to find the perimeter of triangle AEF, okay? So here's our triangle with all those side lengths put together, and then we add all those up and we get 26.55, okay? We're not done. All right, now we're gonna find the area. Okay, the area is uh, base times height, okay? Now, I don't know that this is a right angle right here. I don't know, but I do know there's a right angle right here. So this could be the base right here, and then this could be the height right there. And so that's what we'll use. Again, we don't know that's a right angle right there. Sure looks like one, but I don't know. And so I don't know if uh, this times this is going to be the same as this times this, but I do know that the area is going to be half the product of the base and the altitude right there. Okay, and so when we multiply those together, we get... Uh, 30.9. Okay, so then the last part is uh, the number of sales that you can make uh, for $10,000 if the sale material costs $30,000 or $30 per square yard. Okay, so let's go back to this right here. Okay, this is how many square feet are right here, but this is asking for a square yard. So what we have to do is convert our square yard to square feet, okay? So yard is three feet, so three feet by three feet is nine square feet right there. And since there are nine square feet in a square yard, each sail, 
Okay, remember each sail was, let's go back here, each sail was 30.9 square feet. So we take that 30.9 square feet and we divide that by the, uh, how many square feet are in a square yard right there. And we get, um, uh, there's 3.43 uh, square yards in the sail right there. Okay, now we can, what we're going to do, since it's ten thousand uh, dollars that we're going to spend uh, for uh, 30 square yards right there what we're going to do is um, uh, multiply that by 30 to find out how much it's going to cost for each sale right there okay so there's this many square yards in the sale and it's thirty dollars uh, for each uh, square yard so we find out that it's a hundred and two dollars and ninety cents for each sale so we're going to divide that into our ten thousand dollars that we're going to spend and we get about ninety seven point two so how many sales can we make we can make at most ninety seven sales on that all right you guys i hope that makes sense take care